Although I continue to celebrate my 22nd birthday year after year, I could be old enough to be your mother or young enough to be your daughter. In any case, times have certainly changed since I was growing up. When I was growing up, we sent uh, notes in class and got detention for that. Today's kids send a text and get their phone taken away. When I was growing up, we didn't have to worry about getting in trouble and having all our pictures on Facebook. So times really have changed. When I was growing up, we could play in the neighborhood until after dark. We went in and out of each other's homes like they were our own. We knew our neighbors. Today, it seems that there's been a huge disconnect, not just in our neighborhoods, but in our families and communities. In order to repair the fractured damage that has occurred in our families, in our communities and neighbors, neighborhoods, calls for action. We each can take action by sharing our story. When you share your story with each other, you'll be amazed at the connection, the collaboration, and the community you can build. Storytelling isn't something new. It's what we've been doing for years. It's, in fact, how our human lives have evolved. It's how things have changed in our world for the better. Stories have been left behind by many. But it seems that nowadays, storytelling isn't the norm. It isn't what people go around doing, sometimes even within your own family. You might not know the history of your grandparents or their parents and so on. But it's important to find out. You may ask, why should you share your story? Here's why. To create bonds with one another. To create connection. To really get a sense of knowing those people around you, some of the people that you spend every day with, whether in classes or at school or at work, do you really know who they are? Could it make a difference if they knew more about you and you about them? There are many ways that you can share your story through art, music, images. Certainly putting out a video on YouTube will help other people to know who you are. But whatever way is most reflective of you is the best way. Just be you and share a part of yourself. The times to share your story are any time, but mostly during times of conflict, during times of disconnect. What better way to bridge the gap between two people? A good time to share your story is when you're trying to build relationships and commu create community. How will you better understand one another unless you share a part of you and ask others about them? Whether someone's different than you or the same as you, there's something valuable in their story and in yours too. We often think that our story doesn't matter, that nobody would want to hear it. But there are people all over the place taking their story and using it to empower others. Your story matters and it holds golden nuggets of wisdom and truth that when you least expect it could encourage and inspire someone else and certainly could create collaboration. There are parents who have lost children to death. They're suffering and grieving, but they've gone out and they've made a difference in their communities to help other parents who are suffering, who are going through the same sort of grief. They found a way to find something good in their story, to do something good with their pain. There are people all over who have lost their 25-year careers and their income and been forced to recreate themselves. They've gone out and created products and services to help others, but at the same time, they've proven to us that life goes on even after upheavals. There's very, very successful people that we hear about in the media who have gone back to their inner city, inner city neighborhoods and created community centers to help the people there lift up out of their circumstances. Because their story of success and moving on from what they thought was their trappings gave them a reason to go help others. There's people every day all around us. There's people in this room that have emp empowering stories that are sharing about what they've learned along their journey. And it's regular stuff too. It's about being a student. 
It's about being a parent. It's about blended families. There's so many things, but oftentimes we don't hear about it, and we don't ask about it, and we don't share about it. I believe that we can overcome conflict, that we can create connection to those unlike us and like us if we're willing to share our story. I know there's many people who think that they're helpless and they can't do anything about the tragedies that others face, the tragedies in the world, the suffering, the pain. But I think if you learn to communicate with one another, to share a part of your story, to encourage and inspire others, you are doing your part. It's up to you if you're willing. I know in my own story, I thought it wouldn't matter, that nobody would want to hear about my life of growing up in a dysfunctional family, suffering abuse, and going through other tragedies. It was my secret, one that I hoped to take to the grave until I was diagnosed with stage four cancer and not given long to live. That diagnosis was shocking and painful. All I wanted to do was go back to bed, hide under the covers, and wake up to life before cancer. When the initial shock wore off, I wanted to find an island somewhere and go live there by myself until my last days were over. Ultimately, I did neither. I didn't ditch my kids. I didn't find my island and go away. I didn't spend too many days hiding under the covers. What I did do was write my story. You see, I realized that the most important thing I could leave behind for my children was a story about me, how I had become who I am, what things happened in my life that created me and therefore impacted them. I realized that our story is our legacy, the good, the bad, and the ugly, all of it. While some parts of it may matter more than others, it matters. And it's worth sharing. Because when I decided to go public with my story and let others find out about what I perceived as my little story, I realized the powerful impact of others being encouraged and inspired by me. I had people tell me that they found hope in knowing that someone else had gone through the same or something similar as they had. It was powerful, and it really gave my life purpose. I've realized along the journey that we're usually walking around not paying attention to who's next to us or who's in our neighborhood or who we work with. In fact, today you may not even know the story of the person next to you, but I encourage you at the break to say hello, to ask them what's your story, and to share a bit of yours. And be open to what they might have to share, because it might be something that you're not familiar with, it might be something you don't like, it might be something that makes you sad, but it'll create connection. So I realize that not only my story matters, but your story matters. And together, if we express curiosity in one another, we can change the world for better. Thank you for listening to my story.